hey guys welcome back to another video today's video as you see by the title i'm going to be doing some organizing i am going to be organizing my spice cabinet y'all this spice cabinet was just looking a little bit rough so <laughs> finally getting around to getting it organized so super excited for today's video guys so first things first i'm gonna go ahead and start by getting out all of my seasonings and things just pulling everything out and decluttering and throwing away anything that's expired and old and needs to be thrown out and then we're going to go ahead and clean out this cabinet One thing about it guys is I mostly only use these two bottom shelves in my seasoning cabinet because I'm short and it just makes sense because I do most of the cooking in the house. <laughs> so I don't really use the top shelves because I can't reach up there. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I mostly only use the bottom two shelves. So just showing you guys how dirty these cabinets were. Like these two shelves were so messy. They had a bunch of spilled seasoning on them. So it was definitely time to get these cleaned out, wiped down and cleaned out. everything out of the cabinet this is what everything is looking like this is all of the items that i'm going to be keeping guys so that's everything right there that i'm going to be keeping and then this stuff right here i'm going to be tossing because it's expired and old so there's no need to hold on to that so i'm going to go ahead and declutter and throw that away This is everything that I got to organize. I got these jars that I thought were so cute to put my seasonings in. They aren't that big and they aren't that small. They're like a good size to put my seasonings in. So I love that. Um, so yeah, I got like about nine of these from the Dollar Tree. Also guys, I got this shelf liner to put on, um, to put inside of my cabinets just to, you know, protect them from any spills or anything like that. So I got that also from Dollar Tree. And then next I have these um, kind of like these little stands that you can put like your seasonings on. But I ended up not really using those to put majority of those um, jars on because they just didn't fit. Y'all see that a little bit in the video. Um, and then I also lastly got these labels. I did not get these from Dollar Tree. I got these off of Amazon, but they're still really affordable. They were only about $4.00. One thing about me, guys, is when I'm organizing, majority of stuff that I get will be from the Dollar Tree just because <laughs> it's so affordable. Like, I also got these vinegar um, jars as well. So I'm going to be putting my vinegar in there. And then I got a couple extra ones that didn't have the labels on them. And I'm just going to be putting some of my other sauces in here. So, yeah, if you're definitely organizing, definitely check out the Dollar Tree first because they have some really good finds for organizing your spaces on a budget. Okay guys, so I already went ahead and lined my shelves. It's not perfect, but it'll do. It'll get the job done and protect them from any spills or messes. So now all I'm gonna do is go ahead and get all of my jars cleaned out and ready to go. 
because you don't want to be putting your seasonings and things in jars that have been sitting on the shelves for a while so there's bound to be some dust so make sure you are cleaning out any items that you are getting from the store that you plan on using to organize and things with especially when it comes to food items it guys i'm gonna go ahead and get my labels ready to go and then i'm also gonna just go ahead and get all of my seasonings into these jars and we're just gonna make everything look really aesthetically pleasing and really cute so let's get into it Another thing that I also did was put some of the expiration dates on the seasonings that had them. So make sure you're doing that as well so you know when all of your stuff expires. It's a remedy, 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 yeah. looking like i'm so in love so far guys everything just looks so aesthetic and so pleasing so i'm actually really happy with how this is turning out so far so i have my white vinegar my apple cider vinegar right there i have my teriyaki sauce right here and then next i have my hot sauce in this one and then i have my soy sauce which y'all can see i need to refill like asap <laughs> And then next, guys, I have my paprika. We have some of this Kinder's roast chicken seasoning. And then I have some black pepper right here, as well as some garlic powder. And then next, we have some onion powder. We also have my salt right here. And then next, guys, we have my Creole seasoning. I love this stuff. This is a Tony's Creole seasoning. And then I have my adobo, guys. And then <laughs> last but not least, I have some of this roasted garlic and herb, which is so good. It's by the brand McCormick. Love that stuff. So that's everything that I have so far. Okay, y'all. So this is what I meant when I said that these shelves weren't going to work for these seasoning jars that I picked out. They, the jars that I have are just a little bit too big to stack on these, so this wasn't going to work. <laughs> but I ended up finding other use for them, so it's all good, y'all. I kept trying to make them work out, but <laughs> in the end, it just didn't work how I thought it would. So, yeah, I was just wasting my time right here because it just wasn't working. But at least I get an A for effort, right? <laughs> So now that I see that that wasn't going to work, I'm just going to go ahead and place these in here as neat as possible. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and put all of the seasonings that I use the most towards the front. So like my salt, my pepper, my garlic powder, onion powder, things like that. And then for the seasonings that I don't grab as often, I'm just going to put those towards the back. ended up using one of these shelves right here and then the other one I just put all the way at the top just to have for extras but I'm just going to go ahead and put some more of the seasonings that I don't grab that often on here and you know just organize things so I'm also going to put like my honey as well as the leftover vinegar that I had right here and then guys on the third shelf I'm going to go ahead and put my sandwich bags my aluminum foil my plastic wrap things like that
this is how everything turned out when i say i'm obsessed <laughs> i'm obsessed i love how everything is looking it looks so aesthetic so i'm very happy about that it looks 10 times better than it did before and now that everything is organized and i can see what all i have it just makes things so much more easier guys so I'm loving how this turned out and the best part is I did it all on a budget so if you're on a tight budget like me definitely check into the dollar store when you're trying to organize because I promise you you can find some good gems in there like I did so this is how everything turned out guys let me know what you think in the comments down below but that's gonna be all for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed and found some motivation and inspiration from it if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe because you're not subscribed already um what is you doing and i'll be back with more bye